Hi everyone, let's talk about the tau function which counts the number of divisors of an integer. Let's say n is a positive integer and its prime factorization is p1 to the e1 times p2 to the e2 all the way through to pk to the ek. What we want is a way of determining using the prime factorization the number of positive divisors d that divide n and we call that the tau function tau of n. Now we're going to need a lemma which is not difficult to prove and that lemma states that m is a positive divisor of n if and only if a certain condition holds. And that condition is that m is equal to p1 to the f1, p2 to the f2, all the way through to pk to the fk, where each fi satisfies that it's between 0 and ei inclusive. Um, there is a different way of stating this, which is that for all p that is a prime, nu of nu p of m is less than or equal to nu p of n. And this is equivalent. Nu p just means the multiplicity. This is the multiplicity here, the exponent. Okay, so we're going to use this and what the result that we get is that we essentially these these um, prime factors are all independent of each other so we just get that like at first sight it might seem that it should be e1 times e2 tie all the way through to ek but there, this is actually wrong the correct answer is e1 plus 1 times e2 plus 1 all the way through to ek plus 1. And the reason we do this is, first of all, we're using the multiplication principle. Multiplication principle from combinatorics. And secondly, the plus 1 accounts for 0. So notice that in this, in this range over here, there are EI plus 1 possible FI. And so we multiply together all those EI plus 1, which is the cardinality of the various components of the Cartesian product. That's the formal way of thinking about it. So let's do an example before we end. Let's say we have the integer 12. 12, so n is equal to 12. 12 is equal to 2 squared times 3. So tau of n, which is tau of 12, is equal to 2 plus 1. And there's a 3 to the 1 here, so it's 1 plus 1. And that is equal to 3 times 2, which is 6. So let's check that there are, in fact, three positive divisors. They are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. So yeah, it works. And you can check that none of the other integers less than or equal to 12 are actually divisors. So there are exactly six divisors. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.